cooking good looking. I am Mila Clark Buckley, the hangry woman, and today we are going to talk about butcher box. So I love subscription boxes. I love meal prepping things. I love anything that makes my life more convenient with cooking. And when I stumbled across butcher box, I thought I have to try this and I have to see what the hype is and what it's about. So we're going to dig into this. We're going to do a little unboxing. Well, kind of a big unboxing, and we're gonna see what's in this box, but first let me tell you a little bit about ButcherBox. ButcherBox is a premium meat delivery subscription, so you get this giant box of the meats of your choice when you sign up. The meats are supposed to be quality, they are grass-fed, and the animals are treated humanely, so it makes for a really great buying experience when you're thinking about the product that you're gonna be eating. And the other thing is that it is super convenient. You order it, you put in what you want in your box, so that's what I did. I customized my own box here, and then you wait for it. It comes in the mail, you open it up, get excited about all the meats that you're about to unpack, and you stick it in the fridge or the freezer, depending on when and how you're gonna cook it, and then that's it. it. Comes to you, no lines at the grocery store, no going anywhere else to make sure that you're getting your meats and that you're getting quality meats. You get them delivered straight to you. So this box actually just came to me today, and I ordered it on, I think I ordered it on Tuesday, so it was like a couple days wait time. Um, and so we're gonna open it up, we're gonna unbox it, and we're gonna see what's inside, and we're gonna see if it's worth it. So stick around. I am going to tell you at the end whether I think this box is worth it, whether the subscription is worth it, and what all of it entails. So the first thing you're probably wondering is how much does all of this meat cost? I got this box for $149. And before you bulk at the price and you think, oh my god, that's so expensive for a month, Brian and I spend about $400 a month on groceries, probably more because we eat out a lot more than we grocery shop, which is terrible, and one of the reasons that we wanted to get a subscription like this. So that kind of breaks down to about like $70 to $80 per two weeks, um, about $35 a week. That's not too bad. That is like pretty manageable for two people, and this feeds about two people. So it's, I think, in that regard, a pretty good deal with what's included. And we're gonna go through the box and see what's actually in there so you can see if it's worth it. So let's get started with the unboxing and let me show you what's inside the box. This is the first time that I'm actually opening it. So I'm also gonna be surprised because <laughs> this is my first butcher box. Um, so, this comes off pretty easily. I'm gonna just, whoop, Obi, throw that over there. So when you open it, it, and let me flip it, it's a really heavy box. It has this on the inside, um, this is just the top of the butcher box to kind of hold everything in and hold it together. It does come cold packed, so you don't have to worry about getting your butcher box and having everything be warm. Mine was actually sitting out almost all day because it did get delivered in the morning after I left for work. So I just had to hope that when I came home, this box was going to be intact and I wouldn't have lost a bunch of meat. So awesome. So what's included in this box, it does tell you that on the label right here when you get it. So in my box is a half bone-in pork butt, which came free with my order because of the promotion I ordered with. Um, it is two 10 ounce ribeye steaks. It's two one pound packs of ground beef, the butcher box bacon, and there's two of those in there. Um, it comes with two pounds, two packs of two pounds of salmon, so four pounds of salmon, um, organic chicken breast with rib meat, and organic bone in chicken thighs. So these are all things that we would buy from the grocery store, all things that we would either get at our local HEB or Whole Foods like literally delivered to our door, which is shocking to me. Um, so we're going to go ahead and open this up. And so this right here is just the cold packing. Um, so it actually says on the back that um, this butcher box represents the latest innovations in frozen shipping technology and our commitment to developing sustainable products made from recyclable paper and 100% 
and 100% recyclable. The special insulated packaging keeps your meat within the optimal temperature range at all times. And I, as I'm standing here, I can feel the cold like radiating from this box. So that's kind of awesome because this really did sit outside all day and it was not a cold day in Houston today. Um, so to dispose of it, you put it with your paper recycling for curbside pickup and it's a hundred percent recyclable, which is amazing. Um, you may get dust from the fiber insulation and there's also some dry ice in the box. So let me show you this fiber insulation. So it's just saying that you may get a little dust if you happen to like crush that or tear it apart. So that's pretty cool. We're going to set this aside and we're going to actually dig in. So. This is dry ice that all melted because like I said, it's sat outside all day, but you might be able to see, I don't know if you're able to see, but there, there is definitely some ice vapors coming off of that. So it's still going. And then here is more of the insulation. So this all, so there's some frost on there from it being cold packed. So. This is also recyclable. <laughs> Throwing that down. Oh my God, it's so cold. <laughs> Just got dry ice on my toe. Um, oh my gosh. Okay, this is insane because everything in here is cold. I just touched it and it's still all cold, which is pretty amazing. So we're going to start with, ooh, and since there's some dry ice on it, these are the ribeye steaks. So the two 10 ounce ribeyes, they are, one of them is a little bit defrosted. One of them is pretty rock solid. We have our, whew, I probably should have like had gloves to do this. Um, we have our applewood smoked uncured bacon. I am really happy that this bacon is uncured. This is butcher box bacon. Um, uncured doesn't ne have nearly as much sugar in it. So it's really nice for those of us watching our blood sugar who are kind of looking to make sure that we don't have any extra carbohydrates in our food. So there are two packs of that beautiful bacon. Then, <laughs> got caught on the box. Then we have our wild caught Alaskan sockeye salmon. Um, I do like that this comes in these nice little packs. It also has some recipes on the back, which is really amazing. And it's butcher box. Brand. I'm going to open one of these up because I want to see if these are also packed or if they are not. I'm trying to show you guys everything I can about this. So yeah. The salmon is individually packed, um, so it is in plastic. This is some extra plastic, but that's okay. So we'll set that guy here and throw this trash on the floor. We have another one of those salmon. Um, so there's a ton in here, and what I actually really like about this is that sometimes when you buy it in the packs at the grocery store, and you're buying it obviously fresh, it's not frozen, but you kind of encounter the like, should I use this all right now? Should I put it in uh, stasher bags or plastic bags or whatever to be able to freeze it? And these are individually packed, so you don't have to worry about that. You can take out what you need, cook what you need, make sure the, the rest is frozen, and it's all good. So I think this is pretty awesome so far, and I'm really liking it. Okay. <laughs> All right, so the big boy. So this is our bone-in pork butt. This doesn't come with every order. I actually didn't order this. What happened was ButcherBox was running a promotion where you could get two packs of their bacon and also some pork butt, and I decided that that was a great deal. Um, so I went ahead and I signed up for Butcher Box to get it in the pack. And then when I got the box today, I was like, oh, I have to do an unboxing of this because I think it would be really cool for people to see. So that's the bone and pork, but it's pretty giant. I cannot wait to cook that thing and just like slow roast it. <laughs> I'm already like drooling thinking about it. Okay. So then we have our two packs of 100% grass-fed ground beef without antibiotics or growth hormones. They're also very cold, came well-packed, um, and they are also in a pack separated where you can use what you need and put the rest back in the freezer. So I'm actually like 
really enjoying this. Um, and it's, it's reminding me a little bit, if you ever shop at Costco, it's reminding me of Costco packaging where they kind of like pack everything together and they pack them in these little like plastic packs um, where you can kind of just like cut them, use what you need. And I think that that's really, really cool. Um, it also, something else that I'll show you guys is that it has use by dates on everything. So a lot of these, if they're frozen, like this one can be used by October 24th, 2020. So you can keep them for a really long time, which I think is also amazing because not to waste food and that is definitely something that Brian and I struggle with is that we I feel like you know as sad as it is we don't always eat and use our food efficiently and we don't always store it efficiently and you know it just it makes us feel bad every single time we have to clean out our fridge and we're having to throw things away because they're things that are half eaten or not eaten at all um, or they've gone bad because we just couldn't get to them so I love that these last for a really long time and also that they are just packed individually so you can use them as you need them so this is the chicken thighs um, it says that there are one to three thighs in each pouch which is kind of interesting. So it's one of those like you never know what you're gonna get. You're gonna get one giant chicken thigh or if you're gonna get three tiny ones. Um, so that's fun. Okay, back over here. The last thing that we have left in here and like I can't like I can't say enough about this, about how it's packed and how this stuff sat outside in the Houston heat all day and it is still freezing cold. Like these are like rock solid hard because they're still frozen and they're still cold so it makes me so happy I had so much anxiety about waiting these today and thinking like oh my gosh I'm gonna get home and they're gonna be ruined and I'm gonna have wasted $150 on my porch essentially because of the Houston heat and it actually held up really well um like I said this got delivered at 7 in the morning we didn't bring it in until after 7 p.m. when we both got home. So it really stayed cold, which is pretty amazing. Um, the last thing in the box is the chicken breasts. Um, so these are also packed the same way as the chicken thighs, and they also have that use by date so that you know when to use them, which is great. Um, and then also they're one to two boneless, skinless chicken breasts in a pouch. So you just take out what you need and that's that, which is pretty freaking cool if I might say so myself. So I'm really excited about this. I think that it's an amazing pack. Um, we'll get to the freshness and everything like that. I may do a recipe video with some of these ingredients, but I feel like I got a lot here for $150. And I think that this is definitely going to last us throughout the month until we get our next butcher box. Um, so I, I mean, I really do think that this is a really good deal. I think that the portions are fair. I think that it is a pretty generous box for what you pay for it. And I also think that just the convenience of not having to go to the grocery store and being able to just have this delivered right to my porch and bring it inside, put everything in the freezer, and then just use it as I need it. I think those are like great qualities about ButcherBox. So I think that it's definitely something that we'll continue doing until we find a reason not to. We would have to go to the grocery store to buy all of this stuff anyway, so we might as well just get it sent to us. And the other great thing about this is that it is fully customizable so if we decide that we stop eating red meat we can just substitute more chicken or salmon um, or take it out altogether and do something different so I really love that ability and the flexibility to be able to change to your needs and change what you need as you need it and then if you're indecisive they also have kind of like predetermined boxes where you can just get kind of like the collection that they put together for you so I liked the ability to customize mine I thought that was nice and I think that it's a great way to go especially if you love to cook and you know that you're going to need these ingredients anyway. I will say that if you do need them in a pinch, you're probably going to have to go to the store because you do have to wait for this to get shipped. So you kind of have to plan ahead. So you may have some trips to the grocery store here and there, but I think all in all, you'll probably be able to get away with just having this box and being fine for the month. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this review and I hope it was really helpful in 
letting you decide if ButcherBox is something that you want to do and if it's the kind of subscription that you need in your life. If you do decide that you want ButcherBox delivered to your door, I have a link down below in my description box on how to get it. Um, it gives me a credit and it gives you one too. So it's really awesome. Go ahead and use that link so that you get some butcher box delivered to your door for a little bit of a discount. And I mean, it's pretty awesome. So I feel like hopefully I'll do a review later on so that you guys can learn more um, just about like the quality of some of the meats and you get to see like really how well <laughs> these work and how great they are. But again, I really thank you for watching and I hope that you enjoyed what you saw. And if you did, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and you also subscribe. And until next time, I will see you. Bye.